everyone. We are back with the Brinkley Model C. Um, today, I'm going to attempt to install an easy start at the main air conditioner. That is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Um, I have installed easy start before at my home air, air conditioner. I never have done it at a RB, so I'm going to try to do that. Um, you want to learn and you want to see the AC inside how I do it, please sit, relax, and enjoy. Okay, this is a Furion 15,000 BTU air conditioner. I'm going to put the model number somewhere in the screen. Um, the purpose of an easy start, I got it here. So basically, when the AC starts, um, demands a high uh, amperage, you know, uh, around 24 amps. And what it, this does is that divide the amperage between the fan and the compressor. So start first, uh, I believe it's the fan and then the compressor, but apply the, the current like gradually, you know, start increasing gradually. So instead of starting the AC with 24 amps and then drop to 14, um, start probably like 14 and then drop a little more. So what is the purpose? Well, you can run the AC with a 30 amp uh, generator, or if you are connected to short power with a 30 amp uh, short power, you can run your AC uh, without any problems and probably something, something else. But uh, ideally is for um, run the AC with generators and run the AC probably out of a uh, 3000 watts inverter. Um, and that is the purpose of my uh, installation to try to run it from the inverter at some point for any occasional overnight um, uh, stop that I want to use the, the AC. Um, let's take a look inside of, of the AC. Okay, here is the interior of the air conditioner you have the fan you have the compressor and i believe right here in this box is the um, capacitor we're going to be connecting the um, easy start today to that one and here you will see the wires how are connected um, there is the diagram so let's open this one and see if the capacitor is in there, okay? Okay, I encountered the face first problem. That is, a, I believe you can see it right there. There is a, a screw down here, where you can see it's down there. There is another one here, and guess what? There is another one on this side down there, down here. And uh, I'm not gonna be able to move this, so I need to reach, there is four screws down here at the base, at the base of this thing. I need to try to access the one that are down here to move this out to be able to open it. Let me see if I can do it. Okay, um, I was able to remove the, the bolts on both sides. Um, I had to use this. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's really long to get down there, you see? And I got it. And also make sure that you have at least a magnet to get it. Um, I'm gonna open this and see. Okay, here is the capacitor. Um, something to keep in mind. Do not touch the terminals at the top unless you discharge this first. You can discharge it with a multimeter or you use a screwdriver and cr crisscross the um, the screwdriver between the connection and this charger. It's not gonna kill you if it chucked you, but uh, it's gonna hurt and you're working on the roof, you probably re overreact and jump and can fall out of the roof. Another thing is now that you have here, you are here, um, take a note of the label so you can buy a replacement because like any other AC, these things go bad really fast or this is the one of the fastest thing that go bad in an air conditioner. And as you see, it's something very simple to, to test or replace. So make a copy of the labels, save it, 
um, buy a, a spare one and keep it around. Okay, this is a Micro Air East Star 364, four, excuse me. The model is 364, this is the Bluetooth version. They made a, a cheaper version that is without the Bluetooth. Um, in reality, the only difference is that you can access to, to the system and uh, you can do updates or you can uh, run a diagnost um, and it's easier for the people from Micro Air to service your, your Easy Start um, through your phone, basically. Um, another thing is when you order this, this comes with, this is the instructions. You scan this um, and take you to the diagram how to install this. Um, I have it in my pocket, let me get it. Okay, here is the diagram specifically for this Furion model. As you see, um, comes with the four wires, colors from the Easy Star. It's gonna tell you here in the instruction how to connect it to each one of those uh, wires. And um, that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. Let's see how that goes. Okay, according to the paper instructions, uh, disconnect the compressor R white wire from the capacitor come so here is the capacitor the capacitor on the, the top i don't know if you can see it let me zoom in at the top right here it's hard to see in the camera but have letters down there in, on the metal and um, com that's come you see a bunch of white wires now how you know which one is the one that you have to disconnect here it says disconnect compressor R white wire from the capacitor come. You know that is one of these one of these whites right here. But which one? You need to come here and you take this cover off and as you see here at the top you will see the R. Here there should be a white cable. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use a multimeter uh, with continuity and you're gonna test each of these white wires with the other um, end over there and the one that have continuity well that's the one that you need to disconnect from the compressor that's the first thing you need to do let's do that here is the white wire now we're gonna continue this is this is all the way around here come here now we gotta see which one of these white have continuity with that one, well, that one over there. Um, something else, make sure you disconnect the cable because I left it connected there and um, I was getting here, uh, whoop, I was getting here two of these cable had continuity, you know? Um, so make sure, make sure you disconnect the cable over there now that I disconnected, I get only this cable continuity. So this is the cable we need. All these three remains there, but this is the one we're gonna disconnect first. Something else, um, when you order the Easy Start, you have the option to order these um, installation kits. Come with a few adapters here to splice the, the, the wires. So I get it, I believe it's like $10 more. Um, now, like I said, I'm gonna connect the uh, brown cable with the white wire that I just identified. Okay, another difficulty that I just found, um, it's a little tight, but you gotta run the cable through here so you can close this at the end. Um, I forgot that, but here is the connection with the brown. Now we're going to the next step. That the next step says, let me see, it says here, connect Easy Start um, white to capacitor com. So you have here this wire, the white to the capacitor com. So now we're gonna connect it on the same terminal where we remove the white cable uh, before the cable that was coming from the compressor. OK, 
Okay, here it is. Um, the white from the capacitor, I mean, from the Easy Star, connected to the connector um, com. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's, let me see. It's right there. You will see it right there. You see it says com, C O M, uh, there. Now, the next step says here, step number three. Connect Easy Star Orange to the capacitor CP. So, capacitor again have a CP, it's this one right here. We're gonna connect the orange right there. Okay, another problem. Um, this is why I ordered the uh, installation kit, because it comes with this one. And right now, as you see, uh, the CP connection only have one connection. So you need to leave this one here and on top of that, add the orange. So we need to cut this one, add this terminal and then connect the orange. Let's do that. Okay, um, I decided to cut the, the orange and leave the original red as it was. And I put the, the connector here and then I connected the red right there. Now next, let me see what is on the list. This one is, I believe the most difficult one. Um, Splice Easy Start Black into the compressor OL Blue at the companion location. Hmm. This one is the one that is a little bit tricky. Um, as you see, here is the cap. Let me see. And I don't see OL anywhere, but here is the blue wire that they are talking about. White, red, black, blue. The blue come all the way, all the way, all the way. Here, and we have two blues here. So you know, you know what we, we have to do. We have to um, disconnect it from over there. And then we use the multimeter to check which one have continuity with one of these two here. And that is the one where we're gonna cut it and connect this in the middle of, of that wire. Okay, here is the connection. Um, this is a scary part because you need to, to cut it, cut the blue wire. The blue wire was connected to, to this one and it was back there connected. Um, I checked continuity once that I connected, cut the blue wire and connected the black cable coming from the Easy Star. I checked the continuity from there to here and it's, it's working, have continuity. Now uh, we need to close all this and then we're gonna figure out where to put the Easy Star that probably gonna fit here with some adhesive and uh, that will be, we will be good to go to close everything back, so let's see. Okay, again, um, the installation kit comes with adhesive right here. I'm going to put it um, right here. Looks like a good location for that. So, okay, I was able to put this difficult screws down there, down there, close this, everything back, stick that there, close this, and now we're going to close the AC and we are done. Okay, here is the front AC, the, the low profile, 13,000 BTU. So people question if uh, you can add an easy star. Here is the compressor. Here is the capacitor. I don't know if you can see, let me see the diagram. And I believe you probably probably can add a easy star right there in that area right there. It's hard to see, it's really bright. But right here, you probably can fit the easy star. Woo. Okay, we are in the shade right now. I'm done with the installation of the easy starter. Um, all I have to do now is connect it to the short power and let it cycle for five times, you know, on and off, on and off. Uh, that will allow the AC Star to learn how your uh, AC works and what is the best setting for you, your AC. After that, you are good to go to connect it to a generator and probably power it with a 
uh, inverter. Um, there is other stuff that you need to do to be able to run your AC out of batteries, but at least the, from the generator, you can run your AC um, and, and not gonna have any, any problem with the easy start because the easy start is gonna lower the rush amps at the beginning, probably allow to start the, um, the AC with 14 amps instead of 24 at the beginning, okay? Well, if you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, I'm gonna leave all the stuff that I use in the description below so you can find it. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.